Sir Michael is a valiant knight that must help odd female intellect to save their kingdom from the evil dude. On his journey to Socorro to see a friend, Sir Michael ran into eight girls holding swords and wearing armor, which he thought was hilarious, standing outside of a castle defending it from an army of eighty baboons. He stood in amazement when the girls totally obliterated half of them. His jaw was one inch from the ground when he saw the eight took out thirty. That left ten more baboons, just in case you can't do the math. They had a stare down with the girls, one glance of a girl's beady brown eyes, and they were gone in a jiffy. Sir Michael thought he was dreaming because no girl was as good at fighting as he was. As he approached, some of the girls hid while others stood their ground, weapons ready. Sir Michael introduced himself and asked what the name of the kingdom was. A girl who claimed her name was Anna Grace said, This is the kingdom Bumpy Rumpy. These are my friends, Sarah Beth, Michelle, Sonia, Sasha, Kristen, Christy, and Christina. The girls huddled up and whispered something in a different language. Then when they came back up, Christy said, we would like it if you would stay for the night, as it is too dark for you to travel. Do you accept? Sir Michael replied yes, and Sonia showed him his room. He woke up an hour later than the girls in the morning to the sound of rattling chain. Anna Grace was hitting a dummy that looked a little bit like a baboon. He asked her if she knew where the baboons from yesterday came from. Yes, I'm afraid so. They came from the evil dude. He has had us under siege for many years. I was just about to head to the kitchen for some breakfast. Would you join me? The other girls were already in there eating. Sasha must have been an expert chef, because the porridge she made was incredible. After breakfast, Kristen gave him a pair of new clothes, since his had holes in them. Then, looking at all they had done for him, he said, If you do not mind, I would like to help you battle the evil dude. The girls accepted, changed into more comfortable clothes, then headed towards the practice yard. The other girls practiced hitting baboons when Sarah Beth suddenly yelled, Baboons! Half a mile away! Soon they were face to face with an army of baboons led by the evil dude. Later, half the army was dead and the rest were wounded or retreated. I will have Bumpy Lumpy! yelled the evil dude. Rumpy! corrected the girls. Who cares? Anyway, I will have your kingdom! Later, the girls said bye to Sir Michael. Then he left into the horizon. The end. Okay. Why do I get treated like chopped liver? Is this some kind of discipline? Or are you trying to destroy me so you can get those K-Swisses you desired? Oh, and also, can you get some better tasting socks? Plus, I'm going to New York City for who wants to be a shoelionaire, and are you going to clean me? No. Flip-flop, clip-clop. Oh, so now you're just going to abandon me? Some kind of owner you are. <laughs> Fourth grade angst, maybe? Ocelot. The Ocelot's not a cute little kitty. He is very bold and not a pity. He is a predator, wild and free. They can swim and can climb a tree. With black beady eyes with a cute little face. But this sly animal leaves no trace. This animal knows hunger and his prey. It will go to sleep at the end of the day. Lemons as currency. They are sour and sweet and make a nice treat on a hot, sizzling day. They are good dares for your friends and you can make bets with them. You can even trade them. I like to grow lemons. They are planted in my recycling bin. Hey dudes, so my name is Ernie. I really like kibbles, but they give me stomach aches sometimes. Oh yeah, just the other day I went into my beans pole bag to take a short snooze, and I woke up because of some bumping. I was moving! As soon as my bean unzipped the pole bag, I ran into the boss beans room, someone they call teacher. All the girl beans freaked out and yelled, Ah, big rat! I ran into my beans food bag, took a quick snack, and took a nap. After my nap, I could hear my bean fumbling with the rip stuff at the top of the food bag. This time, I didn't run out, and my bean just ate the rest of the food that I saved for her. When we finally left, I was home. It must have come from heaven, because it's so white and creamy. It makes me happy, and my tummy all warm and cozy. Milk really comes from cows, the moo makers of heaven. Brown milk is chocolate, and pink is strawberry. But did the chocolate milk come from chocolate cows? Did the strawberry milk come from strawberry cows? I don't know, but who cares? I'll keep loving it until those heavenly cows go dry. So when I was in school, we had this grammar book called The Shirley Method, where we learned grammar and spelling, and we classified a lot of sentences. Sometimes we would even run out of sentences, so the teachers had us write some. These are some of the sentences I wrote. A bright, lively rose stood up proudly. A sad, upset pansy drooped down. And let's not forget my favorite. A hideous cheese creature attacked swiftly among the little town. Cassettapi tend to live in small packs in rural towns where they can't be bothered, but often take trips into the city. The Cassettapi's favorite pastime is to rest by a lake and listen to hundreds of random cassettes. It's very rare to hear Cassettapi agree on what to listen to. You can mainly see them wearing flannel shirts with the sleeves rolled up, cargo shorts, and t-shirts with band logos. 
<laughs> Is this what I thought hipsters looked like? They never got along with record adons because they fought over who was the best. Paleontologists believe their extinction consisted of the creation of the CD and the CD player. You would have to have extremely good eyesight to see that there are remnants of them in museums and houses over the nations. Do you have a cassette pie living in your house? It's 11 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? So thanks for watching. Um, I really hope you guys are having a great time at school. I know I don't get to see you guys very often, but like just one class a day or in the morning. You know, they're always just down the hall. And I'm only ever two doors down and across the internet. I'll have the tacos, please. Dairy. Can we make that a thing? I really like that. I think Cheese Creature deserves to live just for a little bit.